hopefully you should now be seeing Andre's slides and I will turn over the podium to him. Okay. Thank you. So hello everyone. I hope you can hear me clearly. Um, yes, so today um, in the next couple of minutes, I will tell you about the results from the source code analysis. We were um, yeah, we were receiving uh, just last week on uh, WooFind, but um, first I want to tell you a little bit on the context uh, this analysis um, was created. So go to the next. Yeah, to the next slide. Okay. So um, my name is Andre Lamann. I am from Leipzig University Library. And um, at um, uh, Leipzig, uh, we are hosting um, 16 catalog Wufine catalogs. Um, and um, therefore, we are um, very much confronted all the time with uh, security issues and all that stuff. And especially in the last um, yeah, half year or like, one year, half year, we had more and more uh, incidences in our surroundings, not especially, uh, well, not at all with Viewfind, but uh, universities uh, in Germany were being attacked uh, and uh, had uh, yeah, problems with cybersecurity. And therefore, uh, the whole IT security is, uh, um, topic got more and more into into our attention and um so by the beginning of the year uh, we were also discussing in the um, project management committee um, of who find um yeah uh, if we should um uh, have an audit a security audit for who find and um fortunately two years ago in leipzig uh, we had a workshop with the contractor sicovera and uh, yeah, so we reached out to them and asked if they could do a security audit on Wufine source code. And um, as I said, they finished it just uh, last week. And now I will um, yeah, show you the results of the um, of the report and uh, in which shape Wufine is. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, the methodology of this uh, source code analysis was that they were actually um, testing um, the Wufine source code uh, for one week. Uh, the whole project went from uh, July 7th, uh, 7th until 18th. And um, we provided the source code uh, in the Wufine uh, release 9.02. So it is not the latest release. Uh, because during the testing, mm -hmm. <laughs> the latest bug fix release was uh, released, but uh, still uh, the findings, I think, uh, are still very relevant. And we also excluded some directories, uh, for instance, uh, data, import, packages, solar, and tests, because all uh, the files or the content of those uh, directories are not necessarily relevant for productive uh, front end uh, for front end being in productive use because for instance uh, the import scripts uh, they are obviously used to create the index and uh, during um, front end operation they do not have any relevance um, so the goal was to identify vulnerabilities in the source code and um, they uh, Sikvera uh, took the steps to first um, analyze the source code by a scanning tool called SEMGRAP. And after that, they were checking the findings uh, manually. And after that, they also do, did some, um, yeah, some research on, um, on like very typical aspects of IT security. They were orienting them themselves on uh, the OWASP top 10. And I will get to back uh, to this. I will get back to this later. And yes, so they were uh, checking for weaknesses in the source code, and uh, they actually found four uh, vulnerabilities, which are, uh, and I think uh, maybe after the uh, the talk, we can uh, discuss them a little bit more, uh, which are these followings. It's um, first is PH uh, that PHP 7.41 was uh, listed as the minimal requirement in the composer JSON uh, for uh, Wufind and it is end of life uh, for some time. That was um, yeah, rated as a critical uh, security risk. 
Then um, the second one was, uh, I will get into detail of these uh, uh, <laughs> in the next slide. So <laughs> uh, the second one was uh, that an outdated software components were being used, uh, for instance, uh, Laminas Deactorus, the package. And uh, then also was criticized that uh, passwords are not hashed by default. And uh, last but not least, that uh, brute force attacks on the login form are possible. So for the first uh, uh, issue, um, as I already mentioned, uh, in Composer.json, uh, PHP 7.41 is mentioned as the, or is uh, required as a minimal requirement for WooFind. And as uh, PHP 7.4 is end of life since uh, last year in August, uh, Sequivera um, is, yeah, said that um, because of um no research is being done uh, security wise on php 7.41 um there are no more uh security uh not even no security fixes applied but also there's no research being done so if there are new um security issues um users wouldn't be get noticed about it even though and this is sometimes the case uh, um, the um, package distributor for instance red hat is still backporting security issues that are being um, found and fixed in uh, later or more uh, current php versions so therefore uh, that is not actually like a problem in view find it's more like uh, the environment you're running it right but still that was uh, um, yes evaluated as a very critical uh, uh, security issue and therefore um, we um, yeah it was a, a very critical issue but uh, for uh, in, with the next upcoming release of WooFind 9.1, it is already being fixed. It was actually also, I think, already being fixed when this report was being done uh, because, um, right, um, in the dev branch, uh, uh, we have the more latest um, um, fixes and uh, uh, those didn't go into the 9.02 uh, release. But still, uh, there's a, we can only strongly recommend to update the PHP version to 8.x uh, if you haven't done so in production use. Um, but anyway, with WooFind 9.1, uh, this will be the minimum requirement anyway. So uh, the second issue uh, was that they discovered that at least one uh, dependency, Laminas Deactoros, uh, was being referenced in um, in composer JSON by version 2.17, which was known as uh, with having a security issue uh, um, that could lead to potential denial of service attacks. This uh, dependency is only used in the OAuth 2 controller once. So uh, uh, Sequivera did not uh, uh, do any rating uh, or they did not uh, um, have any uh, uh, proof of exploitability or anything like that, right? So they just uh, 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 found some or this dependency that is uh, outdated and has a security issue. So therefore, um, they rated this as high. And again, that is being fixed in WooFind 9.1 again. And um, already also on the dev branch. So uh, this problem then is being solved in the next upcoming version. <laughs> this one here was a little bit trickier because uh, um, with WooFind, um, when you have database um, authentication um, activated, um, or when you're using database authentication, the passwords by uh, the users are being stored at the, in the database and uh, the hashing of the passwords is only enabled uh, when you are uh, going through the whole installation process and finish it uh, with uh, uh, um, uh, fixing security uh, issues. So there's like a task that you can do then that is fixing security issues. And in this task, the uh, uh, password hashing is being activated. You can do it uh, manually when you alter the uh, config ini, but um, as this is not the default setting, um, they assess this as a also high uh, uh, um, risk. And um, to demonstrate um, how 
that it's not just a theoretical thing. Uh, they use the known installation list on wufind.org and uh, uh, and yeah, scanned through all these uh, um, through these instances and showed that at least fourteen of one hundred and uh, 72 instances had not fixed the security issues. So this means, uh, because the code of uh, this fix that is being shown there uh, is actually checking if you have enabled uh, hash, uh, the hashing of the passwords, and it is also checking whether you have uh, enabled the encryption of the IS password. So if any of uh, any one of these two things fails, uh, the security fixes also says that it has failed. Uh, therefore, it is not absolutely clear if all the um, BooFind instances uh, that Sigvera was listing uh, actually had like a non-active hashing, uh, non hashing of the passwords enabled, but um, still um, they showed that uh, the installation controller is being reachable by lots of installations, and um, apart, and also on top of that, they also showed that uh, for a lot of installations of find uh, the admin controller is uh, is publicly uh, available as well, and therefore, um, although they show uh, their main issue was that uh, uh, password hashing is uh, disabled by default, um, um, we also realized. That quite a bunch of uh, uh, WooFind instances had an open installation controller and open administration controller, and uh, which is not recommended uh, by um, the WooFind documentation. So, what we did uh, was that we were well. First thing is um, that we highly and strongly uh, recommend to check your config in your settings if um, hashing of the passwords is enabled. Um, and we also are uh, uh, already considering um, enabling hashing of password by default because apparently it was uh, more of a, a legacy issue with WooFind 1. Uh, and we are also looking into if uh, storage of passwords, especially also the IIS password, is uh, uh, necessarily or necessary or at least could be disabled by default. So if it is necessary that you can enable it. but um on top of that we also contacted all the known uh, instances um that were having um open installation controllers and open admin con uh, controllers uh, and contacted them that they should uh, yes limit access access to those uh, um, pages and uh, probably even fix uh, their security settings yes so the fourth uh, issue was that uh, Sikaveram um, criticized that when they were testing with a database authentication, um, that um, um, brute force login attempts were not being limited. Um, that is very specific for some reason uh, to the database authentication, because this is like, uh, um, there's probably a very uh, 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 a very uh, small group of uh, WooFind installations that is only using uh, database authentication. Uh, the more common use is probably the ILS authentication because most of the well, many WooFind installations are being uh, connected to um, library management systems. And so the whole brute force attack uh, uh, problematic is a little bit complicated because uh, for the uh, database authentication, one can obviously uh, try to limit it, but as soon as authentication is being done to, uh, to uh, another service like a local system, uh, this becomes more complicated because the uh, ILS can uh, um, can have its own mechanism for uh, stopping brute force attacks or anything like that. So therefore, uh, we are still in discussion how to solve this problem, which has been evaluated as medium uh, with a re medium risk, and um, it. it, it well, it highly depends on um, how the ILS is set up and also uh, um, how high the risk and, uh, is uh, for, uh, for the ILS uh, um, configuration to being 
um, um, to have um, um, those brute force attacks uh, being successful or not. So apart from these uh, four concrete findings, um, Sigavera also pointed to informational findings. Uh, those uh, were not being um, rated as, uh, with a risk ev evaluation, but there were more, uh, as it says, <laughs> informational, so that you are uh, looking into it. Um, uh, the first one was that they were pointing to that uh, in PHP, um, um, the comparison of uh, two values um, with uh, um, the even comparator uh, or with, yeah, um, is not um, strictly seen uh, secure. And therefore there are some, um, some um, places in the code, or at least one, <laughs> Um, that uh, they um, um, recommended to use uh, the identity, uh, identity, yeah, identity uh, comparison, right? And um, so Demon already fixed that in this pull request, so that's good. Um, another one was that uh, uh, no password policy is enabled by default, which is also a problem, um, as I mentioned earlier, with brute force uh, um, um, attack, um, which is complicated because of the ILS. Uh, configuration um, because there are um, library management systems that um, come with um, yeah numerical uh, passwords only and even with uh, very very short numerical passwords and uh, therefore uh, setting up a password policy by default is quite tricky and um, therefore everyone should be uh, um, should check its own configuration if the risk is high and uh, uh, the password policy should be enabled. Yes, and last but, last but not least, uh, for the JavaScript being used in uh, WooFind, they were uh, pointing us uh, to uh, look a little bit closer on the possibility of prototype pollution, um, which I think we haven't looked into it yet, right? Yeah. So what is the conclusion of this report? All in all, um, WooFind uh, passed six of the OWASP top 10, <laughs> which is quite nice. And uh, from, the four, uh, from the four fails, we already fixed two uh, in the upcoming release and uh, we are working on the other two as well. But uh, um, all in all, one can say uh, there were no big surprises, but uh, some issues exist. And it's ex especially, I think, uh, with WooFind being such a big uh, uh, software, depending on quite lots of dep software dependencies, uh, it's necessary to uh, uh, also keep a good eye on the software dependencies and uh, um, trying to update them. I mean, we just uh, heard that uh, um, uh, Bimian is already working on updating the Laminas, uh, not the Deactor, the uh, Symphony uh, Doctrine <laughs> library, right? And so that's uh, uh, quite an issue uh, and something uh, probably we have to work on uh, in the future. And um, apart from that, also the ILS integration is uh, a bit uh, something to always keep in mind and uh, Although WooFind is probably not a very high risk software, um, it still has uh, offers uh, uh, access to services uh, uh, to another uh, to other services that might have uh, security issues. So it always has to. Uh, we should always try to configure uh, the systems as uh, close as. Um, secure as possible. Okay, and last but not least, um, um, there are some recommendations. The first one is um, because uh, we are point, I mean, we have already a security advices in uh, the WooFind wiki, which is uh, strongly recommended to read through it and uh, to apply the uh, suggested uh, um, hardening um, tasks. But on, on top of that, um, the OWASP cheat sheet series is a good resource for best practices in software development. There was also a recommendation by Sigovera uh, for future implementations and also maybe for existing implementations. Um, it is good to uh, take a look at uh, these resources as they provide also code uh, examples and, uh, and um, yeah, just uh, an overall help uh, to develop uh, secure software. 
So, so much for the security audit on WooFind. If you have any questions, feel free to ask now. And thank you for listening. Well done. Yeah.